And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kaz Has. My name is Kaz Vaughn, and this is Hat Cat, and the obvious crimes against the fundamental laws of physics. It is a game by T-Bone Independent Software Solutions and Funky Ape Studios. It's a lot of words to remember. I think Hat Cat is all you really need to know. This is a platformer, but a puzzle platformer, which is actually pretty, pretty rad. Uh, let's just get into it, shall we? Right away you're gonna realize, man, this is a colorful, colorful game. And yeah, it sure is. Uh, it has a lot of really cool art in it. Some familiar art too, but let's not get hung up on that. Let me just start at the very beginning and show you what this is all about, really. And when you pop in here, uh, you can see if you move the cursor all the way to the right, and to these edges, and all the way to the left, onto that edge, you can move the camera. Same with up and down. And mouse wheel will zoom in and out, but you can also hit the buttons. I think this is set up pretty well for like an iPad or some other tablet. But it's actually not too intrusive on the PC experience so far from what I've seen. I, don't, I haven't gotten too, too far, so I don't know if later mechanics kind of butt up against that. But for now, for where I am, it's pretty good. So, basically, uh, in the bottom you'll see loops, 0 out of 1. A loop is a warp in space-time. <laughs> so, basically, you make a loop, you hit space to make the game go, and when he passes through the edges, he pops out the other side. And you'll see I drew two loops, so it says two out of one there at the bottom. Uh, so the, basically the goal for each level, if you want a perfect a level or gold a level, I guess, I, I think that you gain a coin for perfecting a level, is you find a solution. In this case, you just want to do it in one loop. So I'll draw the loop here. He'll bounce against that and go through and get out of the exit. That's basically the game. It gets a lot harder. <laughs> Trust me. So we'll uh, we'll do this one really quick. Uh, when you come in, um, time is stopped, and you have to like, actually start time up. There's the start button in the upper left, but spacebar, like I said, does it. And certain things happen, but we'll get into that later. We'll just get through this easy level. Later on in the game, you'll find out it doesn't explicitly tell you things, and one of the things you'll find out is time only progresses within the loop. This one took me a while to figure out to do with one loop. Uh, so there'll be parts where you'll have enemies and even like allied characters that are on a timer and they only can do so many things. Like, here, I'll just skip right ahead to the forest missions where it gets a little more difficult. Uh, this isn't. This will show at least off uh, the keys. Uh, some levels you have to grab a key before you can actually leave the exit. And you'll see you have to do this in one loop, so... I think... Let's see, bounce off that, fall down there, go around, bounce off that... Ooh, I think I have to actually... Maybe I can do it in this. This might work. This might work. I've done this before, I've perfected this level before, I just kinda don't remember it. There we go, and I'll drop down there. Go above there. Oh, I see. I think I screwed it up, but this might work. Yeah, see, there we go. One loop. So you gotta have a little bit of foresight and exactly what he's gonna do. So we'll play this. And here's another one you can accomplish in one loop. Uh, I believe this is the mean one. Where I actually have to, have to get him down there make him jump through time and space to grab the key. Come on, get it. Yeah, you got it. And see, he'll walk around and get to the exit. And I actually never perfected that one before, so see, I grabbed a coin. And you can see I have ten coins here in the bottom. I don't, I don't know exactly what those do yet. I assume they're to unlock things, but I haven't ex actually successfully done anything like that yet. Uh, let's get to... Uh, as far as I've gotten is all the way down here. It gets kind of difficult. <laughs> Let me show off some earlier ones before I start failing. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? This is a three looper. So he's gonna drop down and walk this way. So what we can do is... Let's see, let's make him go. And then make a loop here. And wait for him to walk by. Grab that key, oh, and then make a loop here, 
and grab that key. And then make a loop here. But I just thought this whole the whole mechanic of that is really, really cool. And you can do a lot of crazy things. And there's also a lot of levels in this game. So a lot of crazy stuff does in fact happen. So let's see what we can do here. In this one we have a our friend, little kitty here. Uh, he'll only walk for so far until he decides not to walk anywhere anymore. So we really want to catch him while he's walking. And that's one of the instances where time only progresses where the loops are around. See, he's stuck there right now. But he's still pressing down the button somehow. I don't know how that works, but that's okay. Um, I don't know if I've perfected this one yet. I think the gold ones are the ones I've... Yeah, I haven't perfected this one. Let's try this. Oh yeah, this is the one that gave me trouble. Alright, so you can see... I'll just let it play out. Let's see if I can get him... See, if he just walks for a while, and when he walks for so long, he'll just go to sleep. I don't know if he'll do it or not, because I have him kind of caught in a weird loop. But basically, I'll hit give up and retry here just so I can reset his timer. So basically, you want to get him down here. Just sit on that button. And now, I need to get regular Hat Cat to get his butt over there and grab a key for me. There you go. So now that opens the exit. So you'll come through here. And now this guy... Ah, uh, he's already stopped moving. Okay, so that's an instance of me screwing it up. <laughs> Let's try again, shall we? Uh, this guy needs to go... Okay, how about this? Oh, I don't know if that'll work or not. Mm, okay. Let's just let Stripe Kitty roll for a while. Okay. Now that's solid. So you can go through here. Now you're in midair. So I'm going to try and get you to fly up here. And now you can go. And there. I didn't perfect it, but I got it done. That's all that really matters. So let's see... I think I'll show off one of these. These get really tricky, because it... Basically what this adds is that he now moves diagonally. Oh, and by the way, the music in this is really, really good. So the only thing I could figure out, I'm not good at this game at all. The only thing I could really figure out is make a big loop and just kind of wait for him to do his thing. You can speed up time, too. So maybe... Yeah, he's got one. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Let's see. Oh, there's two. I've already gone over the limit for the amount of loops you're allowed to do. But that's okay. There we go. So yeah, that's just the basics of this game. Uh, if you want to try it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. I think it's really super cool. And I know they've been working on it for about three years, and I've seen forum posts about how ridiculously hard these later levels are, how innovative they use the mechanic, and how they change and add more mechanics, and I just think it's super, super rad. And you should give it a shot. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that this game is free, but it's also pay what you want on their website, so if you do want to just get it for free, and then you decide, hey, I really need to give these guys some money, or even give them some money straight out, it's a really good game, and they, they really do deserve it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.